Retour à nage. So I've just arrived in Naj. I got a taxi because I'm um, just popping around uh, trying to explain to people no one seems to know where the fuck Naj uh, Satur is. I know it's a separate village Satur is but uh, anyway I'm looking for number 25. I think it's up here. Jamin. This is definitely nice. Fifty three. Well, there's a place for a drink, anyway. Got a coffee. Oh, yeah, I know this. Tobacco. Look, Avenue number two. Sorry about traffic. Of course, the reason I'm here is um, this is the place that up and down was uh, staying, um, which wasn't the convent. Doing some uh, missionary work here in uh, this part of France. See, that's how it's pronounced. Najee Tulagus. And it seems to be not on the map. It's almost like a... It's almost like a book and a DVD that doesn't exist. And a very specially written card. Republic of France, Nage 1848. It's a beautiful building, eh? I'll be going in there for coffee. I look for number 25. I don't know if that's it. to be up this way. Number 25. I don't know if I'm allowed in. Doubt it. I wonder if I can come in. What a grand house. No, no, no beer, no. Just, just cafe, just now. Cafe, c'est ça, monsieur.
So I've just stopped in this little tobacco for um, some lunch. I'm just going to get a sandwich and uh, a cafe. And um, that house number over there says number 12, but number 25 is the one with the green uh, mesh round. I think for any access, I would have to phone, uh, I had to press the security and uh, button to uh, announce myself, but uh, not been able to speak good French, not been expected. I think it might cause a problem, so I'm not going to bother. I don't think Marlene Kapoor stays there anymore anyway. That's just a view of the other side of the street from the cafe when I'm sitting. Okay. What beautiful houses, though, eh? Look at the lovely shutters and the windows. I have to say that the uh, waitress um, that's serving the customers in this little cafe has probably the most dangerous job in the world because she's got to cross that road. Um, the traffic come flying down and uh, when she's halfway across the road with the uh, couple of plates in her hand and a, a bottle of water, which I love the French doing that every time you sit down they put water at the table. But, um, so I'm having some coffee and here's my sandwich. Uh, merci beaucoup. C'est bon, monsieur? Good? Well, serious question, Andrew. Why are you sitting in a village of Naj, <laughs> southwest of Nîmes, in the south of France, with a ham and cheese baguette, coffee, water, on a Saturday afternoon, the 29th? 29th of October 22. Why are you here sit, sitting where opposite the house of number 25 outside La Anaja Tabak in Avenue du Grand Chemin? Well done for getting here anyway. God bless all those passed through this little street in the past. God bless them all, eh? Every one of them. This is a special time that always happens for me. This time is always the same. I come all the way to Naj to see the house next door. And I cannot believe that the time is uh, 10 minutes to 2. And uh, I find this very good. Do um, you mind say that, uh, the, name of the, the name of this place in Naj? What is the name of this uh, tabak? This tabak is a La, La Anja. The name, the name of the, the, uh, the bar? Wait, I'm not sure. No. In a In a nature. Ah, okay. Merci. The reason I went into the um, into the bar area um, was to identify the time as um, as ten to two on their clock and not just well it's now a few minutes past because I really wanted to show that this time is. Um, very, very special in my life, and I go on about it so many times. I'm sure that anybody who tunes into this will go, What a crazy, crazy thing this is! But it is crazy because, at the end of the day, how many times have I shown this time? Just you know, there's, there's no, uh, I can't go in there and ask the uh, owner of this tobacco in the uh, the Avenue de Grand Chemin to say, can you change the clock so I can fool everybody at home? That is the time. He was very, he didn't understand what I was talking about because uh, nobody films clocks in France as far as I know. 
uh, especially when it says 10 to 2, but you understood that something was very special for me. And what I've done as well, very dear friend that uh, I knew once stayed with me, I won't give you a second name, but I will say he sadly passed away. And one of his favourite drinks, apart from Perno, was Ricard. And uh, I'm raising a glass to Philippe. And may God bless him for the good times that we shared in the time I met him. He certainly left a bit of an impression on me. Yeah. I would have liked to see them again, that's the truth, but uh, that's life, isn't it? It's a fine drink, Ricard, isn't it? Merci. Merci beaucoup. How do you say in France? Cheers. À votre santé. I can't remember. Allez-vous! <laughs> fucking no, can't remember. But anyway, this is what, what's happening. And uh, this people in this village think I'm bonkers as well as everybody else will go with this camera. But uh, Ricard. The temperature is about 23, 24 degrees. There's a butterfly. At number 25. Um, we're just waiting for a taxi back to Nîmes. Should be long. I know it's expensive, but there's no buses. I know. I don't know how she got back and forward because uh, apparently there's no buses. Certainly not to any trains. So I don't know what the hell how she managed. That's off to her anyway. Well done. So there we are, that's the gates to the convent. We're up and down went to in South France many years ago. I think that's uh, the convent's at the back of course, but uh, this is just the surrounding area. And that's the back. Uh, it's all looking very good. Nice village. Oh. I haven't explored very much, but um, it's a very beautiful, I think it's limestone, I'm not sure, but I think that's limestone houses and stuff like that, but uh, very nice properties, all very good. And that's the uh, Rue des Bougadiers. I don't know what, how much that's changed, but it doesn't look like much has changed in this village at all over the years, apart from the cars. Les habitants du Grand Nîmes, capitale du Népal, ont fait un accueil triomphal à l'équipe victorieuse. La Sherpa 
It's absolutely fucking roasting here, it's about 25 degrees. But I uh, come back from Naj and uh, I just checked at that hotel of mine just to make sure they booked that taxi. They didn't book it, so I told the girl it's important I get this taxi in the morning, otherwise, it's uh, very difficult to get to Marseille uh, if I miss that bus, uh, which I need to do to keep going to Genoa and on to Milan. Everything's so important, so it's a pressure night. I'm back at the Maison Cree because it's just so close by to the hotel, but the reason I'll come down, uh, I'm going up there because that's where me and up and down sat. So I brought a, I didn't bring all the heather, but I, got, I managed to get a little bit of purple with that heather I picked from Amal I brought it all the way here to put to where me and up and down sat many years ago, enjoying a carnival atmosphere, carnival atmosphere. And uh, I just wanted to come and put that down. I keep saying because the chance has been back here. Unless she wants to come back with me, I don't know, but uh, I doubt that. So I put the heather around the corner there. I was out of focus when I walked back. So anyway, that's us. Bonsoir from the Maison Carré. That's the cafe place I've sitting at last night, down in all those shabblies. We'll go around, uh, as I say, it's quite hot. It's uh, in the mid-20s, in the mid-70s. Which I'm not complaining about. 